So first, let's use some of the tidy functions to create a tidy version of the discussed data set. Let's call it discuss tidy. And we'll take the discuss data set, pipe that to the gather function that we learned about last week. So we want to create a new column called question and put the values in a new column called score. And let's gather together all of the question columns. So moral one all the way through pathogen seven. Okay. And let's pipe that to glimpse so we can have a quick look at what that looks like. So now we have ID, user ID, date, question, and score. So we have this in long format. Now before the glimpse, let's separate questions. So question is moral one, moral two, pathogen one. So it contains two bits of information that we want to separate. So let's separate um, the question column into two new columns called domain and qnum for the question number. And we want to separate them at the negative one character. So the last character is always the question number, but moral, sexual, and pathogen all have different numbers of characters. So we can separate at a negative number to go in from the right. Oops, I didn't put the equal sign there. There we go. And remember we can convert our columns because this qnum was an integer and it's, um, or it should be an integer, but it's a character right now. If we convert it, it'll convert into an integer. Okay, now we can take these data and group them by the ID, user ID, and date, since these are variables that go along with the ID. Each ID row here has the same user ID and the same date. And domain. So we want to look at, for each ID, user ID, domain, date group, the three domains separately. And we want to create summary variables. So let's use the summarize function to create a new column called score. And that will be the mean of the score. So we're going to replace the score column with the mean of score. And we want to get rid of our groups after that. All right. So now, for each participant, we have three rows, one for moral, one for pathogen, and one for sexual discussed. Um, now, if they're missing any of the individual values, their score would be NA, and we want that to happen. Um, we don't want the mean for people who didn't complete all the questions in that domain. So here we have a, a tidy version of our data set. Now, let's take this tidy data set and process it further. We're going to create a new table called Discuss Scored. So we don't need to pipe absolutely everything together. Sometimes you want an intermediate data set to keep or look at. Um, you can assign that to a, an object and then continue working with it. So let's grab the Discuss Tidy data set to start with and we'll further process that. So let's spread um, domain and score. So we're going to go from long to wide here. And again, pipe that to glimpse so we can have a quick look at it. So now we have ID, user ID, date, moral, pathogen, and sexual. So we've spread the three different domains out each into their own column. Um, now let's use the mutate function. And we're going to create a total score. So total is the sum of moral, sexual, and pathogen.
and we'll create another new column which is year and that's the year function from Luber date run on the date column okay so now we have ID user ID date moral pathogen sexual a total score and the year let's also filter these data let's only keep rows where um, the total isn't blank. So if any of the um, questions weren't answered, one of the subscale scores would be NA. And if any of the subscale scores were NA, then this total would also be NA. So we want to say, um, we want to filter or keep all the rows where it's not true that um, total is NA. Is.NA is the function that tells us whether or not a total is missing. And then this not makes the opposite of that. So we want to keep everything where total is not NA. So that took us from 20,000 rows down to 18,490. So there are quite a few bits of missing data here. And let's arrange this now by user ID. Now that we have our filtered data, we have only the participants who completed all of the questions. We've summarized the scores into um, subscales and a total score. Now we can summarize this data set. So let's create a new object called Discuss Summarized. And we start with our previous object, Discuss Scored. And let's group that by year. And then we can summarize several things about it. Let's see how many participants completed this each year and the average pathogen score. Now remember we know that there aren't any NAs here so we don't need to set um, NA.RM equals true for a mean. Let's calculate average scores for moral and sexual disgust as well. Let's say the one of the first and last dates that um, people did the, the study. So first date, we can use the first function on date to find what's the first date in order and then last date, the last function tells us what was the last date. And to make sure we don't get the groups warning, set dot groups equals drop. Okay, so now we have our new data set with, um, for each year, a number of summary variables. 